Hey Roses, it's Sugar Rose Studios, and today we're going to be doing an awesome Retired Schleich unboxing. If you guys want to know where I buy my Retired Schleich, I made an entire video um, about where I buy my Schleich in general and a lot of those places you can find retired models, so go check out that video. I just wanted to say there's tons of items just listed up on my Etsy, including writers and tax sets. And there are still repainted models and other stuff there, so go check that out. <laughs> Alright, now you can see what I'm opening and my face. No, you probably just want to see this anyway, but whatever. And my beautiful textbooks. Anyways, let's open. Right, so this is actually a Papa horse. And I was like, well, if he's included in the bundle, I can't be mad. And he still has the tag on it. I guess it's a retired Papa model. So this one says 2007 and it is a mare. And it looks like some sort of draft. I don't know. But very adorable. There's not a lot of grazing models or like leaning down models, so one thing a little different than the normal the normal thing all right what else do we have and thank god they actually wrapped them with something all the horses i've been getting lately are literally just in a plastic bag together okay so this one very excited the reason i bought this entire bundle actually um, this horse is for a commission. The person really wanted this one. Oh, and look at that. Definitely body quality. Yeah, which is perfect because he's gonna get repainted into a dapple gray. Yay! So, yeah, that was the entire reason I bought this bundle for this horse, for this person, because I thought I had one of those models. I thought I had another one, but I guess I didn't because I didn't. And all right, this is, oh, and sorry, I'm like, this is the retired Schleich thoroughbred gelding. He is pretty hard to find, I've noticed. Okay, and this looks to be, oh, she's dusty, my goodness, but pretty good quality, I'd say, actually. This is the retired quarter horse mare, um, so. And she was made in 1999 and then produced in 2000. Someone asked me this, but you find the dates on their stomach, I guess that's so. All right, next up we have. Ooh, she's in good condition. Wow, I'm surprised at this. So this is the Hanoverian. Hanoverian. Does this look like a Hanoverian to you? This is a Halflinger mare, the 2005-2004 Halflinger mare, and she's really pretty. Okay, now let's see. This is another quarter horse mare. She's actually in pretty good condition too, considering that they're such old models. And yeah. She's in pretty good condition, I'd say, considering things. Okay. I was really concerned about these guys when I saw them. Um, I'm, I think I could take this stuff off. I really hope so. Um, but like they came with harnesses on. I'm not sure what's up with that, but they're like harnesses made out of rubber bands. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on. See if can window those off. Very strange. Okay. So looks like he's a bit of blue, but I always draw that off. This is really, really strange. Oh. Why would you glue this on a horse? This is like putting glue on tack and the cell horses with a tack on them. I hate that. I don't know. Yeah, I'll just use my drum glue. So let's watch this one. No, the glue don't out too. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I said I thought I'd probably use it to like a diorama or something. I'm sorry, I'm telling you the other horses to have this. Don't worry, I'm just freeing you from your nice statement as a harness horse. 
forever. Dun, dun, dun. All right, I tried my best for now, but yeah, we got some super glue and rubber bands to make those harnesses. Why would you glue that thing up? All right, let's open the other one with the harness just to get our lives over with. Okay, so this is interesting. This is, I don't actually have this one as a gelding. Um, this is the Lipizaner, uh, looks like the Lipizaner Mare. I can't tell the date on it because this wonderful contraption is over it. Um, but I only have these as mares, so it's kind of interesting to have it finally as a gelding. Oh wow, this is really fun. I feel like this is actually worse than the horses with holes in them, which was like in the last unboxing. The one last unboxing. I swear, it's like the strangest thing I've ever found in an unboxing. Like, why did you have super glue rubber bands? I mean, I get it, like, trying to make harness and everything, but really? Like, no, why? All right, that's the best I could do for that. Let's try a different horse because I don't want to touch those rubber bands anymore. All right, so this is the Lopezana mare. She's actually in very good condition. Wow. Um, so this one was made in 2000, produced in 2001, so really nice. And actually you can see the comparison, they're like the same mold, except this one is a mare and this one is a gelding. So, there were some like that weren't really like retired in here, I guess, because this one is the current Frisian Stallion. He just has paint on him, which is totally fine, because I'll probably repaint this horse anyway. Um, but randomly has a tag on him. How do you have a tag on a horse and then get paint on it? I don't know. So that's the Frisian Stallion. He's a current model. Um, and... Uh-oh, this is the retired Halflinger Stallion made in 2002, produced in 2003. He's really gorgeous. He's pretty. I will definitely be paying him because he is by quality, but... Still a cute model. I tried getting scratches off of some of the models that I got that were like white colored or gray colored and I was like, I can do this. And then I was like, mm, no, definitely not. I like totally made them worse. And then here we have the Trichaner Mare who would be almost in perfect condition if she didn't have these stupid rubs everywhere. I don't know how that happened. Oh my God. She's cut up on this side. What the heck happened to her? No, my love, my God. They like hacked at her with a knife or something. Look at that, that's crazy. Um, okay, that's fine, I can re-sculpt that, but really, like, oh my God. Mm. I don't think I have a single model of her actually to repaint, so yay. I've never done a repaint on her. Okay, I actually love that recolor on her. Not the black recolor, but like the bay recolor is so pretty or like it's not even a bay i don't know what it is but it's really nice then we have this retired model that i don't have that i've never really seen like for sale in a bundle so this one was made in 1995 so really old model um i don't know what it is actually kind of looks lip zanery to me i'm not sure but the quality he's in, I probably am gonna repaint him, but maybe I'll try and preserve the original color just to like, I don't know, keep him cool. But wow, that is a really old model. Wow, this kind of looks like a Papo model to me. I don't know why, but yeah. So that was all the horses. Now I'm gonna show you them from the other. Okay, this was what I was taking off. Like, what the heck? What is this stuff? They literally glued them to the poor models and now like, oh my God, that's so annoying. What the heck? So now I'm gonna have to go with them with a drill. So that is a model I'm gonna have to like really redo. Then I have this poor Palomino stallion who I'm going to have to like help because that is insane. And um, yeah, that's like really depressing. I'm gonna get out of my sight. And then we have the Lipizzana mare, who's actually in pretty fair condition, I would say. And then this is, I think, a Lipizzana stallion. I'll look that up um, and see, but 
he is pretty body quality, so probably will repaint him. And then the Halflinger Mare, this side is pretty good. This side is fair. Um, now we have the Trichino Mare who completely is killed on this side. I'm gonna have to redo her on this side. And this side isn't too bad, but what happened? Like, what the heck? And then the Quarter Horse Mare. She's in pretty fair condition, considering she's a very old model. And then this Quarter Horse Mare, who's also in pretty fair condition again. I'm not sure what these spots are going on, but um, yeah. Also ignore my gross fingers. I have been painting today, so <laughs> Okay, and then this is the model I'm doing for a commission, who is <laughs> destroyed. So. And then this Pack of horse is pretty cool, but like you can see like on this side, the line on his face is super prominent. So maybe I can sand that down or something, but that might ruin the paint. But like, he's kind of cute. I mean, he's like a little draft horsey. And wait, was he made 2007? So he's kind of, she's kind of old. I don't know, I keep thinking, it looks like I'm he to me. Like, why you look like a boy to me? I'm sorry for assuming your gender. He, <laughs> fun, Frisian stallion, who will definitely be painted as something. Leave some color suggestions below. I think you would look absolutely nice as a chestnut or maybe a paint So I don't know what we'll do. Or maybe a dapple. Who knows? You guys seem to really love dapples. Um, the two dapples that I've had up for sale have sold fast. So, and then we have the half layer stallion who is. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm gonna be repainted. All right, roses, thanks again so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel and check out my auntie. Don't forget to stay sweet. Mwah.